Welcome to my lecture online. Well, they say practice makes perfect, and so we're going to do another bridge circuit. Now, we already have the bridge circuit in the correct format. It's obviously a bridge circuit. What we're going to do this time, however, is we're going to take the bottom portion of the bridge circuit, the delta portion here, convert it into the Y format. So we need to find Z1, Z2, and Z3. We're then going to attach that to the top two impedances, J4 and minus J3, which we already have over here. And so this becomes the Y equivalent of this delta portion of the bridge circuit. So how do we find Z1, Z2, and Z3? Well, let's go ahead and start here. Z1 is equal to, now notice Z1 will be situated right here, which means we multiply these two branches together and divide by the sum of all three. So we go ahead and do that. We have five minus J2 multiplied times eight plus J5, and then we divide that by the sum of all three, which is 5 minus J2 plus 8 plus J5 and plus the 10 ohm resistor. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. When we multiply the top, we have 5 times 8, which is 40. We have 25J minus 16J, that's plus J9. And here we have 2 times 5 is 10 times a negative, times another negative, because j squared, of course, negative 1. So we get a plus, plus 10. And in the denominator, when we add all this together, we get 5, that's 13, that's 23. And then we have minus 2 plus 5, that would be plus j3. Simplifying this gives us 50 plus j9 in the numerator, divided by 23 plus j3 in the denominator. Now, when we want to divide that, it's better to change it into the magnitude and phase angle format. That makes it easier to divide. So let's go ahead and do that. So 2500 plus 81, take the square root. It gives us 5.08 for the magnitude. Uh, that's 50.8, I believe. Yes, 50.8 for the magnitude. And I need the phase angle, so we have 9 divided by 50. And take the inverse tangent of that, which is 10.2 degrees. For the denominator, notice we have 23 squared plus 9. Take the square root, that gives us 23.19. 23.19 with a phase angle, 3 divided by 23. Take the inverse tangent. 7.43 degrees and then when we divide that into the numerator we get 50.8 divided by 23.19 that gives us 2.19 with a phase angle of 10.2 minus 7.43 that gives us 2.77 degrees. And since we're going to have to add that to the impedance above, we probably want to then reconvert into the real imaginary parts. So this would be equal to, take the cosine of that, times 2.19, gives us 2.19, plus j, 2.77, take the sine of that, times 2.19 equals, and that would be, uh, let's see here, 0 0.11, okay, 0 0.11, and so this here is the impedance Z1. Now we look for Z2. Z2 is going to be situated right here, which is between these two branches, so we multiply these two branches together, so we end up with 8 plus J5, multiply times 10, divide by the sum of the three, which is the same as what we have over here, which is 23 plus J3. So that gives us 8 times 10, that would be 80, plus J50 divided by 23 plus J3. And to divide that again, we want to convert that into the magnitude and phase angle format. So that would give us uh, 80 squared plus 50 squared, that's 2,500, take the square root of that, that would be 94.34. 94.34 with a phase angle of 5 divided by 8, take the inverse tangent, 
32 degrees. 32 degrees. Divide by the denominator we already have, 23.19, with a phase angle of 7.43 degrees, which is equal to 94.34 divided by 23.19 equals 4.07 with a phase angle of 32 minus 7.43, which is 24.57 degrees, which is equal to, because now we're going to again put that into the real and imaginary part, so we take the cosine of that, multiply times 4.07, which is 3.7, and that would be plus j, take 24.57, take the sine of that, multiply times 4.07, and we get 1.69, 1.69. So this is Z2. We're getting there. Now we need to find Z3. Z3, notice, that would be situated right here between these two branches. So we multiply these two branches together. So we end up with 5 minus J2, multiply times 10, and divide by 23 plus J3, which is a sum of all three branches in the delta. So when we multiply this together, we get 50 minus J20, all divided by 23 plus J3. And now we convert that into the magnitude and phase angle format. So here we have 2500 plus 400, that's 2900. Take the square root, which is 5.39. Uh, that's not going to be 5.39, that's going to be 53.9, that's better. 53.9 with a phase angle of, that's 0.4, our tangent of minus 21.8 degrees. And the denominator, 23.19 with a phase angle of 7.43 degrees is equal to, Okay, 53.9 divided by 23.19 gives us 2.32. With a phase angle of, subtract this from that, that gives us 28, 29, so minus 29.23 degrees. So that's 28, 29.23. And again, we want to convert that into this format. So we take 20... That's, uh, let's see here, 29.23. Take the cosine of that and multiply it times 2.32. That gives us 2.02. 2.02 minus J and 29.32. Take the sine of that, multiply times 2.32, and we get 1.13. 1.13, and this here is the Z3, the final third of that Y branch. Now, what we're going to do with that is we're going to then turn this into the following. We're going to add these two together into a single, and this here into a single impedance, and then connect that to Z3 at the bottom. So when we add these two together, notice, for this impedance we add Z1, and Z1 is right here, add that to J4. So when we add J4 to this, we end up with 2.19 plus J4.11. Over here, when we add these two together, notice we take this and subtract J3 from it. So Z2 is here, subtract J3, we end up with, for the second one, we get 3.7, and subtract J3, that becomes a minus J, and that would be 1.31, 1.31. And finally, Z3, that goes unchanged, that by itself, Z3 is 2.02 minus J1.13. Oh, that should be 3 right there. There we go. And so now we have this whole bridge circuit simplified into a format that we can continue on the next video. We now have to combine these two into a single impedance, add these two together in series, 
then we have the total impedance. Once we have the total impedance, we know that the current is equal to the voltage divided by the total impedance. So that's the direction we're going. So take a look at the next video and we'll have the final solution to this problem. And that's how it's done.